Mabuhay Manila this is Shadel from manilashaker.com Again, this is the Lenovo Legion Dual, a flagship gaming phone from Lenovo. It is equipped with the latest Snapdragon 865 Plus with 5G. The latest chipset on the market to date. We will look at its ability in games, not only in popular games here in the Philippines, but in other games running at 144 FPS. Because the refresh rate of this phone is at a whopping 144 Hz, and it is for an immersive gaming experience. So let's find out what this phone is capable of. If you have not yet seen our full review on this device, please see the description box below for the link. So here is the Lenovo Legion Dual. It is a gaming phone equipped with the latest Snapdragon 865 Plus processor. We have 16 gigs plus 512 gigabytes configuration. It boasts a large 6.65 inch AMOLED display with a 144 Hz refresh rate. It has a 19.5 by 9 ratio so it is a bit wider. The battery is backed by a large 5000 mAh cell with a 90 watt capability and can be fully charged in about 13 minutes if we use the two USB-C ports. The back is very gamer designed with RGB lighting and holographic RGBX pattern if the light touches the surface. We will start with 100% battery and we will show the performance of this device running the sought after games in the market and the games that can play up to 144 FPS. Also, we will launch the game from the Legion Realm to use the gaming features and to enable the performance mode of this device. The first game is League of Legends Wild Rift. Lenovo Legion Duel is overkill in this game. It can run the highest available settings, a perfect 60 FPS with 100% stability. If it can only be played in 144 FPS, the phone will still be capable to run this game. As we said earlier, it has 16GB of RAM, so streaming is not a problem. Also, thanks to the Legion Assistant, a gaming overlay that helps the user with lots of features to further improve the gaming capability. It has a streaming mode that opens the mechanical pop-up selfie that enables a viewfinder overlay with lots of customization to it. And even though you lack pieces of streaming equipment or you are not in your gaming house, you can still stream wherever you are. Next games are FPS games. First is PUBG Mobile. There are trigger buttons on the top side of the device which simulates the touch. And by dragging down the assistant overlay and clicking the controller, you can now map the two buttons. But first, if you decided to get this device, I advise you to move the firing button and scope at the top of the screen away from the touch area so that it does not interfere with the in-game touch input. In game settings, we can play up to HDR plus Ultra, but in default, it was in high with Ultra frames. There's also a 90 FPS option which is now official in the game settings menu. If you already have a phone that is capable at 90Hz refresh rate, you may want to check your in-game settings in PUBG to see if you also have an option to enable it. Running the game is so smooth with no lags, even at 90 FPS. Stability is fine but if you max out the settings to the highest possible option, the stability will be reduced but not drastically. Also, I found some unusual graphic bug where if you play at HDR quality, the highlights or blooms of the game are blown out, reducing your visual prowess. So you will surely use the HD quality with ultra settings of 40 FPS. Hope that they will patch this soon but overall, playing PUBG is smooth and lag free. Now let's try Call of Duty Mobile. All settings are unlocked, recommended settings are in very high plus high frames. We tried to max the graphic settings on Call of Duty and the game is ultra smooth with no stutter at all even there's an explosion that may eat up our GPU percentage. What I love about this phone is the high touch response. It has a 240Hz sampling rate so aiming towards the enemy and flickering using my scope is very responsive with no delays. Also, even though my small hands are struggling to operate those capacitive buttons, I still manage to experience the capability of the gaming feel. Playing Battle Royale is still smooth with no stutter even in max settings. There are no delays and no signs of frame drops as well. Clearly, Call of Duty is playable on this phone. The next games are from MiHoYo developers, first is Honkai Impact 3. It is in the highest quality already and is recommended by the device. Very playable in the Lenovo Legion Duel, no stutter, no lags, and very smooth at 60fps. 
Although when we ult, the frames will reduce to about 50-ish FPS, which is not bad and quite unnoticeable because it is not a drastic frame drop. Overall, Honkai Impact 3 have good stability. Next is Genshin Impact. This game is a very graphically demanding game, even the highest chipset to date does not recommend playing at very high settings. It is in the middle settings and is still encountered some drop in frames, but not to the point where you will be frustrated. We tried to play in the highest possible settings but we encountered a heating problem. Even the power efficient chipset and dual liquid cooling of this phone, also the rampage mode of the Lenovo Realm cannot compensate for the game's graphics. The GPU can handle it though, we can play it at lower stability however playing it for hours will definitely introduce heating problems. Overall, I tried to daily drive this device by playing Genshin Impact, it still gave that immersive gaming feel but for a short period of time only. So we advise playing the game at recommended settings to achieve and feel the non-stop gaming action with smooth 60fps. Last games are the games that can run up to 144 FPS. There are so many games that can run higher than 60 FPS like Minecraft, Final Fantasy, but these next games are worth mentioning. First is the Real Racing 3. What we noticed at first was the vibration feel and surround sound it gives to our user experience. It resonates with the overall feel, it is immersive and exciting. No heating problems even running at 144 FPS with 100% stability. You can feel every feature in this game and is very impressive. Next is Bullet Force with 144 FPS again and the game is overkill even at max settings with no frame drops occurred and it doesn't introduce heat. However, this game the Shadow Gun Legends which said to run at 144 FPS feels like there is a problem in the game. But I think it is not a problem but a straightforward feature. We can play at 144 FPS but upon playing a mission, it will reduce down to 30 FPS in the middle of the rate because we are in auto settings on frames per second. Our conclusion was if it detects that the device is heating up, it will automatically stick to 30 FPS which is kinda annoying but overall it can play at 144 FPS with 85% stability and the game is playable at 60 FPS with no frame drops. After almost 5 hours of playing, the battery reduced to 22% which is not bad for a gaming phone running with performance mode and very high settings and 144Hz. It is not the best battery result but it is not also the least. On our battery endurance test, we got an impressive battery life. And as for charging, we only got one USB-C cord so we can't fully test the twin turbo charging of 90 watts. Still, the 65 watts charging results in an impressive charging time even we have a large 5000 mAh battery. On the temperature, I only encountered heating when I'm playing Genshin Impact and Shadow Gun Legend. You see all of the game's 3D games and AAA games works well on this device even Honkai Impact 3. However, Genshin Impact is a very graphically demanding game and feels unoptimized. So most of these games we tried, they meet our expectation, the features truly gave an immersive gaming feel, and it is the importance of having a gaming phone. Some of the games need improvement in compatibility, but nevertheless, it is a powerful device with RGB and gamer feel. And that's the gaming review of the Lenovo Legion Duo. We love how it gives a feel and satisfaction. One of the truly amazing gaming phones on the market today. But let us know what you think about the device. Comment down below your impression and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also don't forget to visit manilashaker.com for more tech news reviews and comparison of the latest device. Once again, this is Shadal and Mabuhay, Manila.